Today we're going to take a look at how we can go ahead and do a dynamic section view in Inventor. So I'll start out with just a regular assembly, actually go ahead and create another assembly and place the assembly that I was working in inside of this new assembly. Then what I could do is actually just unground this part so it's grounded as the first one in the assembly. And then what I'll do quickly is go ahead and uh, constrain this part, but I'm actually only going to constrain it um, in a uh, two planes. So we'll take the XZ and XY plane so that I can get a dynamic section. So quickly go ahead and create a constraint from the XZ plane of the origin of the new assembly I've created and then go ahead and create another one now what this allows me to do is actually use the section view command in uh, inventor and go ahead and select my last plane to create that section now what I can do is, is since I ungrounded the part and only constrained it in two uh, manners is now I'm actually uh, able to go ahead and take this assembly and drag it along that section and I get a dynamic section view visual to check out. So you might want to check this out the next time you need to uh, dynamically look at your parts of an assembly in a section view uh, and this might help you out um, being able to uh, visually see on the fly like this uh, a dynamic section view in Inventor. Hope this helps. Thanks.